high call series. Children, we have uh, completed the lesson part of the first flight in which uh, we have seen uh, uh, how uh, the Wright brothers struggled and uh, kind of effort they had put in uh, uh, getting up with the first flight, isn't it? So now we have got some uh, grammar portion or uh, points that we need to learn from this lesson. So I'll write some sentences on the board first. Uh, they watched the birds. Hmm? They watch the birds. Mm, okay. The right brothers invented. Aeroplane, huh? They flew the first aeroplane. Okay, so I have written three sentences on the board. First one is uh, they watched the birds, the Wright brothers invented aeroplane. They flew the first plane, right? So in these sentences, we see watched, invented, flew. Okay, so these are the verbs in the sentences, isn't it? Yeah, verbs are the words that shows a action, right? So watched is a word, verb, invented is a verb, flew is a verb. So when did this happen? When did they watch the birds? Somewhere in the past, isn't it? In the past. So when were, uh, when was the first aeroplane invented by these uh, Wright brothers? We know in 1904, right? They flew the first aeroplane. When did they fly that? In the past. So all the three sentences are of something that had happened somewhere in the past. Means the verb that we have used in this sentence, the verbs here express actions, actions happened in the past. Okay. So the verbs that we have used here like watched, invented or flew represent or express actions that has happened in the past. So we say these verbs are in a simple past tense. Okay. So we say these words are in a simple past tense because yeah, they uh, express actions that have happened in the past, right? Now, uh, we can express a past habits also. So, simple past tense is used for expressing actions happened in the past. Simple past tense is used for expressing actions happened in the past and for past habits. Past habits means what? Once upon a time it was a habit, not now. Okay. Uh, this is the best example. They watched with the birds. It was a habit for them. Isn't it? How the birds uh, you know, got into the air, how they flew through the air, how they turned, how they adjusted their wings, the tails. Isn't it? Yeah. This is a past habitual action. Means... Once they got what they wanted, they stopped it, isn't it? They didn't watch birds after that. They got the points what they wanted. They made the changes. The glider was ready to be in the air. It flew. And did they go for bird watching after that? Watching birds after that? No. So in that sense, this is a past habit, isn't it? 
It's a past habit. Now, uh, the Wright brothers invented aeroplane. Is that a habit? No. That is something that happened in the past. Right? So, simple past tense is used for expressing actions happened in the past and past habitual actions. Got it? So, simple past tense is used for expressing actions happened in the past and for expressing past habitual actions. So, we have learned that there are two kinds of verbs. Uh, the B forms. Do you remember that? Yeah, we call the status verbs and the possession verbs. Huh? So, we will see that also once. The status verbs. Huh? In status verbs, we have a Two past tense forms. One is a uh, was. Second is a uh, when. Right. So whenever we use uh, am or is, am or uh, is, we use uh, was. Am and is are present tense forms. Okay. Am and is are present tense forms, and for both these, we have only one past tense. That is a was. Now, where is used instead of R in present tense? <clears throat> okay. We use R in present tense and we use where in the past tense. Right. R is used in the present tense. Where is used in the past tense. Now, we had a uh, possession verbs also. No? Possession verbs. Yeah. We have uh, has, uh, have to show the possession, ownerships. Okay. So for both has and have, we have only one past tense form uh, that is had. Right. I was his neighbor. What does it mean? We are not neighbors now. We moved away. Okay. So here we use uh, I was. Hmm? Then if we say he was a good boy. He was a good boy. Means now he is not a good boy. Hmm? He was a good boy means now he is not a good boy. Again you know, we used uh, was here. Hmm? Then we say they were friends. They were friends. We used the where here. What does that mean? Now they are not a friends. Once upon a time in the past. Past actions. He had a car. Means long ago he had a car. Now he may have two cars. May have no cars. It doesn't matter. He had a car. That's it. Okay. So had is in past tense. Where is past tense? Was this past tense? So for B forms. Status verbs are called B forms. Isn't it? Yeah. The B verbs. And these are the have verbs. Okay. So, not only main verbs, the status verbs and the possession verbs also have a past tense forms. For B forms, am, is are the present tense form, was is a past tense form, are is a present tense form, where is a past tense form. Now, when it comes to the possession verbs, the have verbs, has, have are used in the Present tense, whereas a had is used in the past tense. Okay. So, that's about a simple past tense. And uh, now, we will do an uh, activity on this. Right. There are some exercises that we need to do. Okay. So, children, we have already learned about the simple past tense, isn't it? Yeah. So, now, uh, we have got an exercise here. It's based on our lesson also. Some, some of the sentences are from our lesson again. 
So fill in the blanks with the suitable simple past tense form of the words given in the box. So we have got three sentences down there. Okay, one, two, and three, and uh, they have got uh, around five blanks in their sentences. Right. So we need to read the sentence and uh, we need to identify the suitable verb from the box given above. Right. So we will read the sentence first and we will check with the options. And uh, <clears throat> the right option will be dragged and dropped over there. Okay. Yeah. So the first sentence is the Wright brothers always dash to invent an aircraft and dash hard for it day in and day out. So this we have uh, learned in the lesson also. They tried, tried, tried and tried and they failed continuously. But they never give up. Is it? They never gave up their effort. Why didn't they give up? They never gave up because they always, yeah, the Wright brothers always wanted to invent, wanted, looked, pounded, wanted. Here we have wanted to invent an aircraft. And what did they do for that? They looked hard for that. What can they look at? They have to make it, no? Yeah. They counted hard for that. How can they count? They watched. No. They worked hard for it. Isn't it? Yeah. They did a lot of homeworks. They observed birds. They made changes. Isn't it? Everything. Whatever was possible for them, they did. So, what should we keep there? Worked. Right? Okay. So the Wright brothers always wanted to inv invent an aircraft and worked hard for it day in and day out. It's the first sentence. Okay. Now, the second one. As an air hostess, Mohini dashed after the passengers well before she retired. Passengers well before she retired. As an air hostess, Mohini looked after. Looked after means what? Yeah, looked after means take care of. Okay, looked after means take care of. So what's the answer? As an air hostess, Mohini looked after the passengers well, passengers well before she retired. Okay. Now shall we go on to the third one? Rahan lived near the airport. He watched. He watched. And after watching, what did he do? He counted. Okay. So he watched and counted the airplanes that flew over his house every day. Okay. So Rahan lived near the airport. He watched and counted the airplanes that flew over his house every day. Okay. So now we have completed all the three sentences. We will read it once again. First one. The Wright brothers always wanted to invent an aircraft and worked hard for it day in and day out. As an air hostess, Mohini dashed after the passengers well before she retired. Rohan lived near the airport. He watched and counted the airplanes that flew over his house every day. Okay. Yeah. Now I'll keep the screen the same for another minute so that you can uh, read and practice these sentences once again. Okay.
Fine children. So now we'll go to the next one. Complete the following paragraph by filling the blanks with the simple past tense form of the verbs given in the brackets. We have a passage here, okay? We have a passage about the one boy called the Suresh, right? Yeah. Here are some blanks also. And at the end of every blank, we have a verb in a bracket, right? So what we need to do is, we need to find the simple past tense form of this word given in the bracket. And with that, we need to fill this blank, right? So we have given here, we have already the options given here. So we need to select the correct past tense form, simple past tense form from the box given here. And from that, we need to take the words and complete the sentences, okay? So we will read the paragraph first and then we will uh, start doing it one by one. Okay. Okay. Now the passage. Suresh dash run out when he dash here the noise of an aircraft that was up in the sky. He dash look at it and dash his mother's arm. He dash say, look, it looks so majestic. He dash wish, he dash can travel in a plane one day. Okay. So, will the passage once and uh, we will fill the words now. Suresh dash run. What is a simple past tense of run? Run. Ran. Okay. Run. Ran. Could. Caught. Looked. Wished. Ran. Right. Okay. So Suresh ran out when he dash here. The past tense of here is a heard. Isn't it? The past tense of here is a heard. Right. When he heard the noise of an aircraft that was up in the sky. He dash look at it. The past tense of look is looked. We have looked here. We drag and drop it here. He looked at it and dash his mother's arm. Dash catch. So what is the past tense of catch? Yeah, it is not catched. It's caught. What is the past tense of catch? Caught. C A U G H D caught is the past tense of a catch. So we have it here. We'll drop it here. At it and caught his mother's arm. He dash say. What is the past tense form of say? Said. Right? He said, look, it looks so majestic. Majestic means great. Okay? Great. So, it looks so majestic. He dash wish. What is the past tense of wish? Wished. Wished. Okay. He dash can. The past tense of can is a could. Right? Okay. Travel in a plane one day. So, we have now filled the complete Blanks, isn't it? Yes. So now we will read this once again. Suresh ran out when he heard the noise of an aircraft that was up in the sky. He looked at it and caught his mother's arm. He said, look, it looks so majestic. He wished he could travel in a plane one day. Got it? Yes. So now I'll keep the screen the same for another minute so that uh, you too can read it once. Fine.
Okay, so now we move on to the next one. So now we have seen how uh, simple past tense is used. Okay, so if you want to say something that was continuing at a point of time in the past, for example, uh, we know that uh, flyer, uh, flyer was the first engine that uh, the Wright brothers made, and they attached this flyer engine to an aeroplane. They called the aeroplane also flyer and uh, they made a downhill track and uh, tried. Okay, so one of the trials even was a crash. Okay, so Orville was flying flyer when it crashed. Right? Orville Wright was a flying flyer when it crashed. So, uh, there was a point of time. For example, let's imagine this is a downhill track and uh, yeah, the flyer was coming down. The fire was coming down and it crashed here. Okay, so when did the fire flying started even before that? Okay, this is something in 1900, isn't it? So that itself is in the past. So at a particular point of time, this activity was continuing. What was the activity? Flying the flyer. Okay, when, when it crashed. Right now we have a verb here was flying. Was flying. We say a bird is flying. What do you mean by that? Ah, at the time of your speaking, the bird you saw. You can see the bird flying over there, and then we say the bird is a flying. When this was happening at a, somewhere in the past, we have just seen instead of is in the past tense, we use a was. Isn't it? Yeah. So, when uh, we want to tell an activity, an action, or something that was continuing at a point of time in the past, okay, I was going to school. When it rained. Okay. We started from the home. This is our home. This is our school. We are walking. We are walking. This was already started from here. And suddenly it rained. Okay. So this is an activity that is continuing. When? When it rained. Okay. So an activity that was continuing at a point of time in the past. When did this happen? Last day, yesterday or day before yesterday or last week. Right? So if we want to express an action that was continuing at a point of time in the past, then we use past continuous tense. What do we use? We use a past continuous tense. When, when we have to tell an activity that was in progress at a point of time in the past. Right? And when we have to write a sentence in a past continuous tense, we have seen you know, for present continuous tense we use is, am or are plus ing. Here we use was or were plus ing. <coughs> right? Was or were plus ing. They were the right brothers. They were watching birds. Okay? They were watching birds. In this, were watching. Why do we use where here? 
Yeah, this is a plural. They means more than one people. It means it's a plural and that is why we used it where. Okay. I was walking. I was walking. Was walking is the verb here and we use the was here because the subject is a I. For am also we will use the was only. Huh? He was he was playing with the ball. He was playing with the ball. He was playing. Why was here? Because when we used he, it is a singular. Okay. So when we have to write some uh, sentence in a uh, uh, past continuous tense, we need to use was or were plus ing form of the verb. Okay. Was or a were plus ing form of the verb. Got it? Yes. So that's about the past continuous tense. And we have got uh, the exercise C there. Uh, we will do that and we will continue after that. Clear? Right. So we have completed the activity, the lesson part of uh, past continuous tense also, isn't it? Yes. So as we have completed that, now we have an activity on a past continuous tense. Okay. So now we will do that activity. So this is again a fill in the blanks question. Right. So as we did the simple past exercise here, uh, we have five sentences and every sentence has a blank and there is a word given in a bracket at the end of every sentence. So here, fly, fly, soar, so, ball. Okay. So what we need to do is, we need to, we need to, yes, read the sentence, identify the past continuous form of the word given in the bracket here and with that we need to fill up the blanks right we need to identify the past continuous tense form of the word given in the bracket and with that we need to fill up the blanks okay I will write dash a plane when he lost control. Fly. So what is the past continuous tense of a fly? Yeah, we know. Past continuous tense will have was or where before that and ing form at the end. Isn't it? Yes. So fly or will write or will write as a single person. Isn't it? Or will write as a Single person, so it will be was. ING form of a fly is a flying. So, what is the answer? I will write was flying. Right? I will write was flying a plane when he lost control. The Wright brothers dashed a glider when they faced some problems. Wright brothers, both of them are there, no? I will write and uh, will be right. Okay? So two people are there. So more than two people, when a, so more than one people, right? So if, if there are more than one, then it is a plural, isn't it? Then we use a where. And in the form of a fly is a flying, isn't it? Yeah. Now, where flying. The Wright brothers were flying a glider when they faced some problems, right? The aircraft dash up when it developed a technical problem. The aircraft dash up when it developed a technical problem. The word in the bracket is soar. The word in the bracket is soar. So what is the present sorry, past continuous form of uh, soar? The aircraft, only single aircraft, isn't it? So was, 
sore plus ing soaring okay so the aircraft was soaring what's the option the aircraft was soaring up when it developed a technical problem the air hostess dashed food to the passengers when the pilot made an announcement so what was the air hostess doing when the pilot made an announcement sir so past continuous tense form of a sir air hostess air hostess is a single person okay air hostess is a single person isn't it so we use a was serve plus ing serving right so was serving the passengers dashed the aircraft when one of them felt sick the passengers more people are there then it is a where board ing boarding so the passengers were boarding okay we'll check it once yes so we will read all the five sentences once Owen Wright was flying a plane when he lost control. The Wright brothers were flying a glider when they faced some problems. The aircraft was soaring up when it developed a technical problem. The air hostess was serving food to the passengers when the pilot made the announcement. The passengers were boarding the aircraft when one of them felt a sick. Right. So I'll keep the screen the same for another minute. You need to read the sentences well, loud, and clear. Okay. So read it. <laughs> 